If there is one piece of advice consistently presented here, it is that drivers, whether driving for Uber or Lyft, should always, with every passenger, every trip, every single damn time, carry a defensive tool on you. That could be mace or pepper spray, either something to slice or poke wood up to and including a firearm if you're comfortable. Today's story Coming to you out of Nashville, Tennessee, is just such a case. First up, a shocking new video shows a man attacked in, at a new, by an, or a Nashville Uber driver was attacked. The irate passenger appears to take his phone before knocking him unconscious. Yeah, the video is pretty shocking. Our Michael Warwick has that exclusive video right now. Uber driver Reginald Pierre says he pulled into this Walgreens parking lot to let out a female passenger. He could have never suspected the attack that would happen next. I'm not calling the police. Okay. Yeah, call the police. I'm fed up with an irate passenger. Reginald Pierre wasn't going any further. That's when this Uber trip took a violent turn. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Video from inside Reginald's car shows the suspect, Stephen Shalabu, assaulting and taking Reginald's phone to keep him from calling 911. Outside in the parking lot, Shalabu is accused of knocking Reginald unconscious. Well, I told him to oh, they're going to kill me. And he's, he's a big guy. He said, when he's hold me that way, I mean, really, I could defend myself, but there's no way to defend myself now. Reginald says the man was upset he'd allowed the woman with Shalabu to get out of the car, which she'd asked. Metro police charged Shalabu Monday with felony aggravated assault. Reginald, who immigrated from Haiti more than 30 years ago. You can sleep. When I get there, I'll let you know, okay? Still doesn't feel 100%, suffering a sore neck and back. The doctor told me, you're lucky there's nothing broke. Once I get home, I don't know, my body not start recognizing nothing moving and I feel like I'm heavy. Now that Reginald is back at the wheel, he keeps his camera rolling. Towing with him some extra thanks, in this case, he wasn't more seriously hurt. I was thanking the Lord that I serve and pray. I say I'm happy. I was so scared. <laughs> and his nightmare trip is one he can leave behind him. Michael Warwick, WSMV4. Wow. Now, in this case, according to the news story, the passenger let a female out of the vehicle and the remaining male passenger was upset that the driver let this female out of the vehicle that was requesting to get out and decided to beat the hell out of the driver. What the hell is this, an episode of Taken? Where the passenger is keeping this woman against her will and actually gets angry with the driver for letting the woman get out the vehicle? That is what they're saying in the news story. So in addition to charging this passenger for beating the hell out of the driver, they need to talk to the female and see if she was being held against her will as well. However, there's a couple things we need to discuss in this video that I think is important. Number one, first and foremost, if you do not have a dash cam, this video illustrates how important that is to have one. Remember, without a dash cam, this could boil down to being his word against the passengers. And no passenger is going to admit they beat the hell out of you because you let some broad get out of your vehicle. So kudos to this driver for having a dash cam and having it rolling at the time to actually film the felony in progress. Now, in addition to having a dash cam and obviously having something to really defend yourself with physically, what do we say once again, pepper spray or mace, something to slice or poke wood, and of course a firearm if you're comfortable carrying that. But in addition to that and a uh, dash cam, which we highly recommend, one of the steps or one of the lessons you have to learn from this is it is a bad idea to ever do something where you are tactically disadvantaged. In this case, you see the passenger, or you see the driver arguing with the passenger. The passenger is staring right at you and you gotta turn around and argue with them behind you. The moment it rises to a level of a heated argument, that is the time to either take out your keys and get the hell out of the vehicle or prepare yourself with the defensive tool you have on you. In my humble opinion with this driver, obviously unarmed, should have took the key, got out of the vehicle, and then you can deal with that argument on the outside of the vehicle where you are better able to fight or flee depending on your choice. 
But being trapped inside of a vehicle, in some cases even with the seatbelt on, is a real good way to get the shit beat out of you. So I don't, and I don't know, I don't suggest anyone get into a heated argument with somebody sitting behind them. Could lead to exactly what you've seen here: getting beat all about the head, potentially getting choked out, and things like that. You're just not physically designed to fight with somebody behind you. So get the hell out of the car and deal with that situation on the outside of the vehicle or like i stated you got the keys take off running whatever the case you got to make second never announce to someone that you are about to call the police certainly not in a situation where you're sitting in the car with them and all of that where you can just take the phone from you and things like that if you have a passenger and unfortunately many of us in ride sharing do have passengers that refuse to get out of our damn cars for a variety of reasons if you have to notify law enforcement, I would strongly suggest doing what I just stated. Take the key, turn the car off, get out of the vehicle, and make the phone call to law enforcement. As opposed to having somebody behind you that may decide to take a quick, quick swipe at the back of your head, throw something at you, hit you, whatever the case may be, while they're exiting your vehicle. Oddly enough, there is a lot of anger that passengers develop in this business. My veteran drivers, have you ever had a passenger get angry at you for some bullshit? Maybe you didn't want to take them somewhere. Maybe you didn't get them there fast enough. Maybe you took too long in their opinion to arrive in the first place. Something you didn't do that they wanted you to do and decided to get angry and or violent. We all face that in Rideshare. And if you haven't faced it yet, your ass ain't been driving long enough. So those are two very important lessons in my humble opinion never get into an argument when you're tactically disadvantaged such as somebody behind you or while you're driving the vehicle if you're driving the vehicle and you got a passenger behind you or in the passenger seat and they're arguing with you and it's escalating that's the time to stop the car and as i suggested either grab your defensive tools and be ready or get the hell out of the vehicle with your keys but driving down the road when you got to focus on driving while somebody is potentially about to beat the shit out of you is not a good predicament to be in. So absolutely do not argue with passengers while you're at a disadvantage like that. And as I stated, do not threaten to call the police. As Nike would say, just do it. You can text law enforcement. You can actually text 911 if you feel like you're in some drama like that. Like I said, Send the text message, take the key, get the hell out of the car, get away from the car, so be it. Now, I understand the issue of potentially abandoning your vehicle and having a passenger, an unruly passenger in your car. They may go through your shit, they may tear your car up, they may bust windows or whatever. But do you want to go through what this Haitian immigrant went through? where you're getting the shit beat out of you, where he's unconscious and waking up singing a My Back, My Neck particular song? Do you want to get up and have that happen? Might be the time to step away from the vehicle and notify law enforcement. And keep in mind, if you take off, the passenger knows that it's only a matter of time before police go. He's, the passenger knows you're not just abandoning your shit. They know you're calling law enforcement, so they're not going to hang around your car very long anyway. And because you have the keys, they can't necessarily take off with it. So consider abandoning the vehicle so that you don't get the lumps on your head that this passenger got. Nevertheless, I wanted to run this by you because I do want to have some of you veteran drivers in a common state. Have you had a passenger get angry maybe to the point of swearing at you or actually threatening violence simply because you did not want to do something as an independent contractor where you don't have to do that they wanted you to. Take me over here. Stop and wait for me for 25 minutes. Hang on, my boy is coming out. He want to get in as well. Something you chose not to do because it is your right as an independent contractor to do so and it led to a passenger potentially getting violent with you. Let your boy know in the comments. As always, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.